okay welcome back in here oh, in this video all right so welcome back in this video we are going to be adding the stitches so let's not waste so much time new control uh, oh, shift a and then let's get a bezier so since we already used this if you go into edit mode and then we select everything and then push d and then delete vertices so we move this to surface so meaning whatever we draw will stick to this surface so let me go into the side view and let me turn on the image the reference image and i'll turn on x-ray so now you can draw on top creating a spline so i'll start from here i'm using a tab a, a welcome tab you're welcome to use a mouse but i feel like a tab will help with precision okay so we've made uh, a spline so now what you can do is you can go through and just align align the splines so that the line is straight okay that looks good enough let's go to the top view let's see what we have so turn off x-ray so that you can see in some places it's actually uh, going inside the mesh so you can actually fix some of those points all right that looks good and now i'll select while selecting all these points uh right click on your mouse and then let's subdivide this we'll put in 60 here so we have 60 points let's move out of edit mode right click on this and then say convert to mesh so now it's no longer a spline it's uh it's just mesh so you can rename this if you want to stitches 001 so that we know where we are all right now after that let's go uh get a modifier skin and then i'll push tab to go into edit mode select or push a on the keyboard and push Control a on the keyboard to reduce the size of this mesh okay so at this point that i've reached i want to be seeing my reference so i'll turn on x-ray so i want the thickness of that mesh to be the same as the cotton in the background so Control a and then i start reducing i know it's kind of hard to see but you really need to concentrate to see it let's do a bit too thick reduce it okay let's see okay that looks good enough let's just reduce it okay go to select and then checker deselect so here this will tell you deselected will be saying i want six and then the ones that will be selected i only want two so if I move in close, uh, no, that is not happening. Let's zoom in. So the ones that are deselected should be as long as the cotton behind here. So let me just increase this to like 25. That's almost there. Let's just go to 30. It's almost the length. Okay, I'll just put it at 40 yeah 40 looks okay depending on what you see is right for you then the deselected ones i'll make it five or maybe i make it eight it's a bit too much though i think six is okay okay so <clears throat> what has simply happened is 
those that I'm still selecting, I will still want to reduce their size. So if I push Control A on the keyboard and then continue reducing, notice that is what happens. So if I reduce a bit some more, all right. And now these are squares now. They've been, they look like squares now. If I move out of edit mode, notice they look like squares. So what I want is if I go to modifiers, let's select them again and then add a subsurface modifier. I'll push it up to three. And deselect. So notice this is what happens. And if I move this one up, uh oh, so the subsurface modifier has to be below. Okay, so now the thing is, it looks like they are some of these are way outside, so I'll need to move some of these in going into the shoe. So now what we can do with that is you go, make sure you're selecting that object and then go into Sculpt. And under Sculpt, you can actually get the snake hook. You need to apply the modifiers. So apply. Oh, you, you can't apply a modifier in edit mode, so you need to be in object mode and then say apply, then also apply for the subsurface and oops it's not necessary for the subsurface modifier to be applied but if you need you can so let's go back into scalp mode and then get the hook and now let's just start moving these in Okay, so once you're happy with all the modifications that you've made, let's go back into edit mode. You can actually select all of that and then duplicate it. So in places like here where it's actually going in, you can go to the top view so make sure you're in edit mode let's go first to the top view then edit mode and we can go oops edit in fact let's go to scalp mode my computer is suffering right now All right, so I'll move out of edit mode. Let me go into the object mode. And that's how we get our cotton around our stitches. So we'll just have to do this for the whole uh, shoe.
all right now i'm done so let me just unhide everything so alternate oops, let's go back to object mode alternate edge and let's hide the images and here we are let me just center this on my on my separate time i can actually go in and then put in some more stitches around here inside and also on the tongue you can also do that the idea was just to show you the method so i hope you get it right okay so catch me in the next video where i compose this i put it on a background and we finish up season one of creating the shoe and save